Hi there, I'm Annette. Welcome to my channel. Today we are making a beef stew. For this beef stew, I'm using a little bit of round roast that I had left over from another meal that I made. I'll explain at the end why it's a good cut. Some mushrooms, celery, carrots, onions, garlic, potatoes. Yes, those funny onions are shallots. And though they are a, f a fairly mild onion, I decided to use them in here. I have some fresh rosemary and thyme, but feel free to use it dried, salt and pepper, and beef oxo. I peeled and cut up my potatoes. I cut up the celery. I like to cut up the vegetables on slightly different angles just to make my stew a little bit more interesting. For the most part, the vegetables are a good size. Because I'm putting this into a crock pot and it's going to be sitting around for a long time, if the vegetables are really tiny, you may risk them turning to mush. Also with your potatoes, you might want to use a firmer variety for this, such as a russet potato. I like to see all my vegetables ready in the bowl. Then I know what I'm working with and what will fit into the pot. Now it's time to cut up our round roast. I, if you're like me, I'm not very good at telling which way the grain goes on this roast, but it is going the opposite of the direction that I'm cutting it. Though, if you don't know which way that is, because you're going to be stewing this, it will be fine and not be hard to chew. Once I've got it cut into one inch strips, then I cut it again so that these cubes are pretty small. I want this meat pieces of meat much smaller than the vegetables that I'm putting into the pot today. Just to make it go a little further because there isn't a lot of it. In my pan, I put olive oil, but or sorry, avocado oil, but feel free to put whatever kind of oil that you would like in there. I season the meat with some salt and pepper, and that's it for now. Browning the stew meat ahead of time just gives it that extra bit of flavor that just makes your stew have a little bit more depth to it in the flavor department. Now, as you can see, there's quite a bit of uh, liquid that's formed into the pot, and that's perfect. You want all of that to go in your stew. But for this stew, I added a little bit of margarine to my pot, my pan, and then I coated the beef with flour because I wanted to thicken my stew that way. This will just slightly thicken your stew and make it not quite so soupy. If you would like it to be thicker than this, feel free to add a little bit of cornstarch mixture or flour mixture later on. It doesn't matter what order that you put your stuff into the crock pot because the meat is cooked. I just put it on the bottom, but as you see, I'm going to be stirring it anyway. I add all my vegetables. This is a great way to use up your homemade vegetables. Everybody gets a good stir. Then I take my herbs. Again, you can use dried herbs if you would like or not include them at all. The rosemary, I find is a little sticky. It's an interesting herb. Once I figured out how to get the thyme off of that stock, things went smoother. Now, because I'm adding the beef oxo, I'm not adding any more salt to this dish because the beef oxo is quite salty as it is. So I just added a little bit more pepper. And you guys, I wouldn't normally necessarily use beef oxo. I make a beef stock on my own using beef bones. However, I thought a lot of people would probably have beef oxo on hand and be able to use it. You may mix it into the water so that you know that you aren't going to have any lumps in your stew of beef oxo powder. But this is a new can and I felt pretty confident that it would blend in once I added the water and gave it a stir. 
I wanted to add enough water to cover all my vegetables in the pot. And then I give it a quick stir just to make sure that all the beef oxo powder is mixed in. And boy, it looks beautiful. I started it for eight hours on low, though I probably won't let it cook that long. And if you're interested, here's a picture of where the round, round roast comes from the cow. Take care everybody, and thanks for watching.